Why does there appear to be no public debate between the IPCC experts and the alternative skeptic view? I think this falls to Leslie and Will. Yeah, I'll have a first go at that. Um, the reason there isn't is because there actually isn't a debate um, in the scientific community. Uh, and uh, let me <laughs> But, but the questioner can, can certainly uh, be excused for uh, believing there is a debate uh, because what you see in the public over the past year or so has diverged radically from what goes on in the scientific community. Uh, the scientific community debates things through uh, peer-reviewed literature, evidence-based, how well can you observe things, explain the observations, how well does it agree with theory, and we debate this quite vigorously. And there's some aspects of climate change which we are still debating. Tropical cyclones, for example, how rainfall patterns will change. There's a lot of uncertainties around that. But the key point is, is the climate shifting? Is it getting warmer? Unequivocal is the word that we use. What's the cause for that? The emission of greenhouse gases from human activities. In the scientific literature, there is no debate about those topics. What you see out in, in the media and in the press is what a lot of my colleagues call a phony or false debate. Uh, and the reason you're, you're not seeing many of them out there is, quite honestly, they are frustrated uh, and really annoyed uh, by the way the media has treated them. Uh, and so they're going back to the bench, going back to their ships, going back out to the field sites to do their research, which is what they're paid for. They're not paid for standing up in front of the media against someone who is uh, not an expert uh, and having to go through that sort of experience. So, so basically, on the fundamental science of climate change, there is no debate. There hasn't been for a couple of decades. Uh, and if you really want to test my statement about that, then you go into the peer-reviewed literature and see if you can find a debate, a debate and you can't. Thank you, Will. Well, can I just can I say something? Um, I, I just wanted to add to that. I mean, yes, it's, it's true, as Will says, there's lots of climate scientists that are getting pretty sick of it and, and have retreated back into their burrows to look at their test tubes and the, a few foolish ones like Will and I, That's right. um, <laughs> you know, we're here. Um, climate scientists are a really funny bunch. They're the only scientists that wake up every morning and, and hope that they're wrong. Um, because if they're wrong, um, we'll all be okay. Um, it's just that if we're right, um, we potentially won't be okay. Um, there are quite a lot of surveys all the time, not just about what the public thinks about climate change, but about what scientists think. The last one that I read that, that, that involved a lot of scientists was a, a study done a couple of years ago by the, the Pew Institute in the US. Um, and they uh, surveyed uh, publishing scientists, so people who are actively doing research, and they got um, consensus of 98% of those scientists in terms of the climate changing and what is the probable cause. And so I would ask those of you that are out there that, that, are, that are still a bit um, in the sceptical camp about this, if, if you turned up at the airport and you're about to get on a plane and 98 out of 100 Qantas engineers said, well, I think there's a 90% chance that this plane will crash, you know, would you get on it? Um, and then even if you were going to get on it and take the risk because the, the two that, you know, looked pretty, pretty confident that it wasn't going to crash, would you take your family with you? And that's really what we're talking about. 